Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Green Lady and welcome back to my channel. It is time for hashtag FFC Challenge 2023. In June, we're going to create a pinwheel card. If you've never ever created one, this video is for you. For today's project, I'm going to use Drop of Sunshine number no. 3 collection designed by Marta Dębicka, which you can get on Craftstash and I left the link in the description down below. As you can see, the backgrounds have beautiful vivid colors, but also they've got elements with lighter colors as well, which means they will be perfect for mats and layers for your cards. What's really good about this collection, it does not only have lots of stunning background papers, but if you get the full collection, you also get six designs for DL cards, which will make your crafting even faster. And if you get the full collection, you also get labels with some sentiments, but also you can personalize them as well, because you can stamp whatever sentiment you've got. Here you can also get beautiful flowers and leaves, and what's really good about this collection, as you can see it has lots of floral wreaths, and I really, really like this collection. If you want, you can also print it two pages on one A4 paper, which means you can resize them as well. So here, let's create the card. So I've got six by eight and a half blue card, and I'm going to score it at two inches, four inches, six inches, and eight. But I couldn't really do it here, so I turned my card over and I'm going to score it at half an inch and that will create a flap for my pinwheel card. As you can see, now we have to fold and burnish all those score lines, super quick and simple. So my card today is going to be six by six inches and it will go inside a flat envelope. So if you've never ever created this kind of card, I do encourage you to give it a go. Now it is time to create some notches here, just to make sure it will be beautifully finished, and that's what I really like about card making. Now it is time to assemble our base, so I'm going to use my one and only liquid glue, magic glue, because that always gives me that professional finish, but I do have time to maneuver the elements later on, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to fold it and make sure the glue is set before I move on to the next step. So. When this is ready, as you can see, we've got that cuboid and it will be time to decorate it. So I need to create some blue panels and I'm going to attach them to the base. So I need 12 panels and I'm going to use the same blue. So these are two by three inches. And then for mats and layers, I'm going to use white card and this one is one and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And I'm going to put all those white panels on top of all the blue ones. But if you want to create a bigger border, that is absolutely fine. However, with that six by six inches card, later on, we're going to have smaller rectangles, which I'm going to show you. So that's why I decided for a smaller border here. But if you want to go in quarter of an inch, that will be perfectly fine. So now when all these are ready, we have to decorate them with the design papers from your chosen collection. But here, as you can see, we're going to decorate them this way. So if you have pattern paper, make sure it is facing this way. So I decided to go with some pink roses, but also some orange roses as well. And I think that will give me very nice contrast on my card. What do you think about this color palette for today's card? Do you like it? I hope you do. So now I'm going to assemble all those elements here. So as you can see, I've got that orange, pink, orange. And I'm going to repeat the process, but I'm going to alternate them here. So this way my card will be let's say, more interesting, right? So you can choose any design papers from your stash. I do encourage you to actually use your scraps because this card is perfect for it. So all those elements here are one and three quarters by two and three quarters for the design paper. So if you want to create your own version, as I told you, you can go by one eighth of an inch to create the border or 
a quarter of an inch and that will be perfectly fine. But here I decided to have that smaller border and to be honest I really like it. I think it makes this card even more special. So now I'm going to assemble all those elements here. And if you haven't heard about hashtag FFC challenge 2023, every single month is dedicated to a different fancy fold card. As I told you, in June we're going to create a pinwheel. At the end of this video, I'm also going to show you two other videos, one by Monica and one by Christine, and they created pinwheel cards as well. So if you want more inspiration, please check those videos. And also, in the description down below, I left all the information about this challenge. You can also join us on Facebook, and all the information is in the description down below. So check it out. And actually, on our Facebook group, there are over 50 people now. And to be honest, every single month, we can see so many stunning designs and cards you create and seriously that puts a very big smile on our face. So when these elements are ready I'm going to start assembling them on the base we created and I'm going to show you a trick how to make sure that it actually looks like a pinwheel card. So first I'm going to put some glue on one of the sides here. Make sure the glue is everywhere you want and now with the first panel, I'm going to make sure that the sides match. So as you can see, the right side to the right side. Here, I'm going to put the left hand side to the score line. And I'm going to repeat the process, the right side to the right side. Super simple, right? All you have to do now is to repeat the process. And as you can see, at the top, I'm going to have orange, pink, orange and pink. And as you can see here, I couldn't put it flat because it is some dimensional base. So that's why let's remember we need to put the right side to the right side and then the left to the fold line. And this way your card will be stunning. But if you create all those small panels, make sure you push them very, let's say, sturdy. Because we want all those panels to match. And later on you will see the smaller rectangles we're going to have as you can see here on the right hand side. So later on we have to create those small white panels with any design papers of your choice. And as you can see this card comes together super quickly. I think the biggest struggle is to choose the design paper of your choice. But if you want you can create your own design paper and that will be even more special. So what do you think about this pinwheel card? Do you like it? If you want, you can also leave two of those panels empty to write your message here. I decided against it because later on I'm going to stamp a sentiment and I decided to actually put my message inside of the card base, but that's for later on. So when these elements are ready, as you can see, the card can go flat and it measures six by six inches and now it is time for all those small panels so with white card i do encourage you to create seven eighths by um it was one and seven eighths and then with your design paper you just have to create a border so here it was three quarters by one and three quarters and again i'm going to alter all those colors so pink orange pink and so on because i really want this card to be vivid bright and let's say elegant so what do you think about that dark blue for card base do you think it works with that color combo as you can see here i attached all those panels of camera so you don't have to watch me how to do it so this card is super simple so if you do want to create your pinwheel card don't forget to check monica's and christine videos as well because they've got stunning projects Every single one is so different and that's what I really like about card making because even when you get the same theme or card style, every single person creates a beautiful, stunning but different project. And if you do want to create your own, please join us on Facebook and the link is in the description down below. And this challenge is for fun. 
So if you want to create your project, don't forget to put that hashtag FFC Challenge 2023 on your social media so everyone can see it. And trust me, there are so many stunning videos on YouTube so far with that challenge. So please check them out. And if you don't want to create your video, you can always put a picture on Facebook or Instagram and then we can see those images or projects as well. So when these elements are ready, at this point I thought something is missing on the card. I really like it, but as I told you, I didn't leave any space for a message, but I'm going to stamp a sentiment and I'm coming to a point of the year where I have to create lots of thank you cards. So that's why I decided for this card to be a thank you card. So as you can see, this card actually looks like never ending card because you can turn it and turn it and turn it. I really, really like it. And I'm so glad for this challenge. Here are some elements I fussy cut from the collection. As you can see, I always keep them with a bag together with the collection. So I decided to use some flowers and smaller banners and elements to embellish the card. So as you saw previously, when I showed you the whole collection, there are plenty of amazing elements to decorate any project you want. So now a decisions, decisions, where to put all those smaller embellishments on the card. Sometimes I really wanted to go with orange and orange, but then sometimes I wanted a little bit of variation. So I've got some double sided format adhesive for extra dimension, especially on those flowers. I thought that would be a good idea. So if you've never ever created a pinwheel card, I do encourage you to give it a go. So here, as you can see, this one is six by six inches, but I know Monica created a different one. So please check it out. As you can see, all those elements come together super quickly. And if you do want to embellish it even more, yes, you can add some gems or pearls later on. And that's what I'm going to do at the very end. So when the flowers are ready, it's always a good idea to put a few drops of liquid glue, then double sided foam adhesive, peel it with your pokey tool, add few drops of liquid glue, and this way all the elements will be adhered forever. And your card will be professionally finished. So I do encourage you to do that. Now it is time to stamp that sentiment and I'm going to use my black waterproof ink from Spectrum Noir. It is my favorite when it comes to stamping sentiments. If you do have your favorite black ink for sentiments, please let me know in the comments which one is it. And I also wonder how often do you create fancy fold cards? I really like them and to be honest at the moment I'm very obsessed. So here at the top you can see my playlist with fancy folds I created so far. It is time to add some gems and the card is complete. So what do you think about this one? Would you like to give it a go? Or maybe you would like to use this collection to create your own project. Please let me know in the comments down below. So as you can see, this card is super quick and fun to create. So don't forget to check that hashtag FFC challenge 2023. And as I told you, June is dedicated to pinwheel card, but we've got so many other videos with that hashtag. Here you can see Monica's and Christine's videos. So please check them out as well. Thank you so much for watching and spending that time with me. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Happy crafting!